Hey CBC fam, it's your girl Makiba, aka Why Not Keep, and today I'm gonna share with you this iconic Beyonce inspired long braid, honey. And when I say long, I don't just mean a little bit. I'm talking a mind of its own, past your bam see, honey. Beyonce be whipping it around on that on the run tour. I have to warn you though, this look will have you at home feeling like Beyonce, honey. So please don't hurt anyone while you nail that perfect whip around. Okay, but no, seriously, if you'd like to find out how you can achieve this look at home, then keep watching. Now, if you're someone like me who has super thick, tightly coiled hair, then I recommend blowing out your hair before doing the style just to help it mold up into that ponytail, makes it 10 times easier now if you don't have thickly coiled hair, maybe you have straight hair, fine hair, whatever it is, if your hair is super easy to get into a ponytail, then you can skip this part. You really don't have to blow dry your hair because you already know how to slick your hair into a simple pony. Next, I divided my hair into two sections. So I basically left the perimeter out and this is really helpful for people with super thick hair or people with medium length hair. Now, I did a pony at the top first and this is my base darling. <laughs> and then I'm basically going to take product and slick the edges up. It just makes it so much easier and you have a lot less hair to work with when you're applying the product. A little tip or trick. <laughs> so to slick my hair up, I'm going to be using this Lovely Bees Edge Control. So Edge Control is not really a gel. It's like a pomade type of consistency and it helps slick your hair up lovely, especially when you use a hard brush. And you see how smooth you can get that? Whoo! Then I take my second hair tie and secure this last section of the ponytail. Next up, I'm going to take this little mini brush here and this is gonna be for my edges, honey. So I'm gonna lay some baby hairs. I used a little bit of the same edge control just so I can lightly mold and sculpt them. Cause you can't have a braided ponytail without some edges on it, without some baby hair. <laughs> now I'm gonna use a satin scarf and I'm gonna tie that around the perimeter of my head. That's just gonna help my ponytail set in position while I work on the actual braid. And now it's time for the real star of the show, Konecalon hair. If you have never used Konecalon hair, you're missing out in life and you need to. <laughs> This stuff is super cheap from like 99 cents to $8 a pack. Like it's it's so affordable and you can do so many different styles with it. And we're going to use this to create our braid. So when you open the package, there's going to be a little elastic band at the top. We're going to get rid of that. Then I'm going to divide the hair into three sections and put it neatly and nicely over to the side. So before starting the actual braid, I took a bit of edge control and I put it on my hair, brushed it in, and this is going to help the braid go really nice and smooth. Then I took my first piece of Konecalon hair and I'm going to feed it into my braid. So I'm gonna add it in where I stopped braiding. So before I add on the Konecalon hair, I'm just making sure right here that my braid is tight. So the last section that I did is nice and secure. And I'm putting the Konecalon hair over the left strand and the middle strand. The strand on the right side doesn't have any Konecalon hair on it and it's gonna go over top and in between those two. And now I'm gonna add my second piece of Konecalon hair because remember in the beginning I said divide the pack into three pieces. So now I'm grabbing the second piece and I'm gonna repeat the exact same step. So I'm gonna put the Konecalon hair on the left and middle sections. And as you can see, the middle section has no Konecalon hair on it. So that's the same strand that had started on the right side in the beginning. So now we're gonna make sure that that middle piece gets some Konecalon hair by repeating the exact same steps we did the first time when we added it in. So right now I'm just positioning, you're gonna be using all your fingers <laughs> for this, but you're just making sure that you're positioning the Konecalon hair on top of the left and middle and taking that far right strand and bringing it in between the two and crossing over and braiding down as you normally would. It seems complicated, but it's super easy once you figure it out, trust me. Now 
Then I'm taking the third and last piece of Kinecolon hair from this pack and I'm adding it in the exact same way we did the first two times. And then I just kept braiding and braiding and braiding until I could braid no more darling. Now when you're getting closer to the ends, you could stop here. Your braid doesn't have to be mega, mega, mega long because this is already still long. But if you'd like to go all the way, then we're gonna need a second packet of Kinecolon hair and we're gonna add another layer down here just to give us that all the way past our bum drama, honey. <laughs> and we're gonna add it in, feed it in the exact same way we did before. And depending on the length you chose, me, drama, yes, honey, um, <laughs> this was surpassing way past where my arms could even reach to continue braiding, <laughs> but it was all worth it in the end. So when you get to your desired length, you're going to take a little mini elastic band and tie it just, just before the very tip of it. I like to leave a little bit of the hair at the end, and then I take scissors and trim the straggly ends. So as we can see, look, the hair is kind of stiff. Um, we don't want that. We want it to be able to whip around and we want it to have nice movement while we're walking, right? Like that's, that's too stiff for us. So what we're gonna do is dip it in boiling hot water. This is gonna help seal the braid and give us tons of movement. So please be careful when you're doing this. Make sure that you don't get your face too close to the steam and make sure that you have a towel on hand so that after you've dipped it for, you can probably count to like five or 10 seconds. As you're pulling it out, you're gonna be using the towel to dry it at the same time and make sure that the hot braid does not touch you. And look at the difference. That's what we're talking about. Swingability, honey, yes. And last but not least, take off that hair tie and you are ready for the world, honey. Earrings, get yourself dolled up. Let's go, you Beyonce. Have fun with it, girl. And have no fear, if you are corporate in the day, honey, just throw that little bad boy up in a nice neat bun and at night you can unleash her and do your thing. <laughs> all right, guys, that is all for today. Thank you so much for hanging out and kicking it with your girl. Don't forget to subscribe to CBC Life for more of my videos as well as check out my YouTube channel here down below. All right, until next time. Mwah.